guys. So it's been a while since I did a video. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we've been up to. Been trying to earn our green thumbs here, planting a garden and doing uh, a whole bunch of stuff. We've done this a few times in the past 20 years since we've lived here, but this time we're doing it bigger. We've got the raised beds you can see behind me. Um, and then we uh, actually fenced off a big area of the, of the yard, almost at the land. <laughs> someday, someday we'll have some land. Now we just have, we have a yard. Um, and our tomatoes have actually grown into our, uh, into our grass, so we're converting our, our lawn into a garden, which is cool. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this. I keep looking over, because the screen on my phone has me, so I'm like looking at it. All right, so we've got some purple, purple beans. Actually, I'm gonna go around here, because these things, these tiger lilies, they are crazy. We dig them up, throw them in something. These have been sitting here for like two months. We haven't watered them or done anything with them, and they're just like, oh, I'm gonna grow anyway. And there's some tomatoes that made it into the yard. Um, the purple, oh, there's a bunch of them in there, yeah, so just getting going. They're just starting now. These little purple beans. And so, let's see, yeah, got a few of them. These ones we just planted out here and they took off. We've got some peppers here. I don't know what kind of peppers they are. I think they're like, uh, they're probably jalapenos. Maybe, I don't know. So now we've got our garden peas, a bunch more peppers. I think those are all just red peppers. And then some hot peppers behind them more of those tiger lilies, some tomatoes in the yard. And then back here we had some spot where the grass was kind of dead, so more tomatoes. And this one here started, started uh, flowering a while ago, but then right here you can see where some animal decided that was gonna be lunch, dinner, whatever. We've got some uh, Japanese, what were they, cucumbers, Japanese cucumbers. We've got uh, some Jerusalem artichokes, uh, just, I don't know, they kind of look like they were dead. We cut a bunch of them off and then all of a sudden it started looking better, started lifting itself up, so maybe it'll take off still. Um, <laughs> more tiger lilies, more tiger lilies and some tomatoes uh, back in here parts from a motor parts from a motorcycle and yeah so tomatoes and tomatoes and tomatoes and tomatoes and tomatoes and tomatoes and more tomatoes i have like a hundred friggin tomato plants around here and then the son likes to buy potatoes and not eat them so these ones had big eyes so we went ahead and planted them so here's four potato plants that came from just some Idaho potatoes that were bought from Hy-Vee. Hy-Vee's just a grocery store. Um, and then we've got our corn. I was insistent on corn. We probably shouldn't have done it because we just don't have enough room to do a good plot. But we've got some, so it's good, I guess. And we've got some purple potatoes. You can kind of over there. Um, and more tomatoes, more and more and more. We bought these uh, drip hoses from Harbor Freight, which were actually pretty cool. I finally, finally unrolled them yesterday. Um, so that might work well. And then I did a bunch of, well, Lisa actually planted a whole bunch of uh, asparagus. I've got some black beans there, just a, Few, four of them, five of them, whatever. I had some that I, I took a, out of a bag from the grocery store, just nothing special, just took them and uh, tossed them in a plastic bag with some some paper towel and some water and they sprouted. I'm like, holy crap! <laughs> so that was fun. And uh, we use a lot of uh, basil. This is a uh, holy basil. Um, ooh, look, a bunch of, a whole bunch of them. Jalapenos. 
So hopefully we'll get a bunch of peppers and tomatoes. We got enough friggin' tomato plants. We should get some tomatoes. <laughs> um, and then we just pulled up a bunch of uh, a bunch of what do you call them? Radishes. That's what we did. Yeah, radishes and put more peppers in over here. And we've got some little volunteer uh, mustard as well. And then these are the purple potatoes here. So they've got their flowers going. I hear you can eat potato greens. I'm gonna have to look into some recipes on that. And uh, yeah. so then we've got, God, I don't even know what we've got over here. Oh, and there's more of my black beans back in the corner here. You can see them going. A bunch of them. Um, oh, and more. I think those are jalapenos. Pretty sure. We've got a bunch of habaneros too. I don't know where they are. <sighs> and some of them are still in pots and things. It's the middle of July, so we probably, hopefully, they'll mature quick enough to get them out here. Tons of pepper plants. Um, <laughs> the bugs like these. I think those are. Hmm, I'm not sure if they're broccoli or cauliflower. Got them over there too, and there. We've got some uh, Brussels sprouts over there in amongst the uh, asparagus. I'm not sure with those asparagus if we should be pinning up the, the shoots or just letting them droop over. So they kind of naturally seem to just droop over like this. Just kind of bleh. So I've been like putting them up on these bamboos I'll tie them off, but I couldn't find my twine before I found it, but <laughs> anyway, so I'm not sure if it's better to have them up like that and whatever, or just let them fall to the ground and do what they do. Um, this is their first year, so, but they all, pretty much, all but one of them came up. Oh, there's one over here too. So, so the only one that didn't come up is back here in the corner, so it's, it's doing well. Um, you can see more stuff in pots sitting around here. We've got kale going on. So yeah, after not doing the garden for a long time, I guess this is uh, just making up for it. Oh, we got grapes too. Look at that. I'm sticking up out of the fence. <laughs> it's like I need to get higher. Whole bunch of grapes. They're still hard, hard as can be in there. But there's a bunch of them. So hopefully we'll get to eat some of those and not give them all to the animals. So, and then we've got a few raspberry plants. One of them, one of them got some kind of disease, but it seems like it's doing okay. It's got a see. It's got it's nice and it's been growing. It's just kind of. Oh, it's got a white stem, which is weird. And then the rhubarb. And, yeah, actually I've been using this uh, composter too. I do like it. I think this is the only white composter the rest of them apparently are junk. But you can see, I mean, in just a day, everything, I threw a whole bunch of stuff in here and it broke down pretty good. Yeah, we bought these all this wood mulch to put on the garden. We uh, looked at places that sold it bulk in the beer, um, but it ended up being cheaper to buy bags of it and a hell of a lot easier to move around and deal with. And when we had leftovers, we just tossed it in there and it held up good. Right? Pretty. Plus it's obvious that there's something here now that you shouldn't step on. So it's hard to tell when you walk up on it. That's awesome though. So, and then inside, oh, there's more tomato plants down here too. 
and we had a bunch of dead grass and roots from the tree shooting out and whatnot so we just kind of dumped a bunch of hay and wood chips down and covered that up it'll break down over the winter and then we'll have uh, new soil to plant grass in i guess so somebody will like it in our mess oh all my uh seeds i'm planting a bunch of exotic -y type stuff these are just pine nuts pine nut seeds um they take years i guess this is actually um black locust so and they all send you little gifts oh look tomato seeds and safflower and um black bamboo and purple bamboo and what is that it was a giant hardy giant moso and these i just thought were neat mexican sunflowers and these are some colorful sugar canes so I was just gonna play with them. I mean, they were a few bucks, whatever. I was up looking for seeds and I found some stuff and I'm like, oh, I wanna try that. And then these were some uh, rum sugar cane, they said. So we'll see what that looks like. And then desert willow. My hope and dream is to go live in, you know, the desert somewhere and grow a bunch of stuff and do this permaculture thing and whatnot. So we'll see. Um, what were those? Oh! Mexican Mexican lilacs. Um, I actually have some of these uh, some of these growing, or not growing, but sprouting. I soaked them overnight, and then we did some like six pine nut seeds. Just uh, soaked them overnight and put them in plastic bags. The black locust. Or, oh, I'm making making bread because I had some dough. I was gonna make the, some my pizza as well, but then he took off, so I figured, well, screw it, we'll make bread for tomorrow. I've got dough sitting here rising for making our pizzas. And then, the reason I'm bringing you over here is in here, oh my, where is it? Somewhere in here I have, oh, here it is. I have black locusts. They say to cold stratify them, so they're just kind of in this plastic bag. You can see the seeds in there. So I basically soaked them for a few hours and then put them in the bag with some with some paper towel. So we're gonna give that a try. We've been cleaning and well, doesn't look like it, but we have <laughs> cleaning in terms of getting dirt off the floor because doing this gardening stuff kind of makes it a mess. Down there, I have moringa trees. All these guys, they're only about three weeks old about and they are doing amazing. Basically nine of the 12 that I planted took off and three of them, I don't know, they didn't even germinate. They just kind of blah. So anyway, we've got this huge tomato plant. Just keeps going up. Oh, there it is. There's the top. Um, we're going to bring them outside today, but that didn't really, he's too big. Um, he's got that pepper down there. And then my inside pepper, you see him in the little, whatever, cactus bowl so that's a habanero and then there's a tomato next to it that we eat. it looked like it was dying so i'm like going well i'll throw it in some dirt and see if it lives and it did so now we need to figure out how to transplant it well that wasn't cool i bumped a button on my phone anyway so that one we're going to transplant outside probably lisa wanted flowers so she's got flowers here there's a marigold buried down inside there but these other ones took off so uh, unfortunately, I tried I tried a couple of, not tried, but I had some uh, snow pea plants. I actually put miracle Grow on those, and they just, pfft. so apparently I put too much on them and burned them up or something, I don't know, whatever. This sorry looking thing is a rosemary. It's actually doing all right though, it keeps getting bigger, just kind of flopping down on the ground it's lazy I guess some uh, uh, Swiss chard and more peppers and tomatoes and other junk and a whole bunch more marigold well, a whole bunch five more marigolds um, and some more Swiss chard in the back over there and then I don't know what those are These are planted some things oh and then those things are black beans because I had a bunch more and I thought I'd try putting them in here but then we've never transplanted them so I need to do that I suppose um, 
Oh, and more pepper plants down below. And mint, we've been scavenging the mint, making mojitos, lots of mojitos, and mint coffees, and other stuff. We're gonna back up from this just a little bit and see what we got going on here. It's not, not all that impressive, but at the same time, it's worked really well. We've got uh, several shelves that part that's all blown out light-wise. It's trying to adjust, but <laughs> whatever. Um, right uh, there, that area. We've got three four-foot grow lights going on, and then above it, just one standard four-foot grow light. Um, oh, and then my lettuce down here. We've been picking away at this. Ah, there you go. So, lettuce and, and spinach down there. Anyway, um, oh, we went to this place called Eco Garden, and they had a deal, so I won a little bag and some chemicals. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Haven't used them yet, but oh, and we're saving our toilet paper rolls as uh, starts for beans and whatnot and trees. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been up to. And I'm gonna make a bunch more videos as we start doing more stuff. I'm gonna, I've got these, these uh, rock, rock wool plugs that we're gonna start some stuff in and then I'm gonna do in this here little plastic bucket I'm gonna make a real simple aquaponics thing um, I was gonna try to explain it but quite frankly <laughs> that, that's a whole video in itself um, now I was gonna do a little aeroponics deal inside that little bucket I know this stuff isn't food grade and this and that but it's just a test right now to see how it goes um, I bought all these uh, little clay balls, so we'll be using that. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do aquaponics necessarily like as a major thing, but I think it'd be nice for stuff like the uh, like the lettuce and whatnot, aquaponic, aeroponic, whatever. Um, so that's that. I'm gonna go make my pizzas. I'll I'll let you guys see them when I get done. All right, so here is that bread that I was making. It turned out pretty good. It's like, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's got the hollow sound like it's supposed to. And then I made pizza. I was gonna do a little video when I put it together, but oh well, now you can see it done. She was just complaining that she wants to pull some of the vinegar. She doesn't realize I put some on mine already. <laughs> All right. So we're going to eat up, and then I'm going to edit this up, and then I will see you guys next time. Look at this mess that needs cleaning.